Ladies and gentlemen, it is game week. Man, that feels good to say, and I just get that out there because after the year we've had, I think we could all use a little bit of happiness. So get your popcorn and hot dogs ready because in just two days, we have high school football that, yeah, actually matters. Hey, come on, easy down there, guys. Split it up. We're not going to have full stands shoulder to shoulder this year, and that's not the only thing that's going to look a little bit different this high school football season. Around football stadiums, all signs point to change. You know, obviously we're trying to get as many people in as we can, but also at the same time we have a responsibility to follow all the CDC and public health guidelines that have been set for us by the state. In Ankeny, entrance to the stadium requires a wristband sold mainly to families of the participants, and seats are marked off in pods of two to four, and there's also changes to the concessions. We're going to do a lot more prepackaged stuff. Um, we're not doing grill items off the grill. Um, we, everything's going to be prepackaged. Extra precautions with money handling as well as uh, food handling. Meanwhile, Indianola is going for a different seating approach. We have eliminated um, every other row of bleachers. Their approaches also differ with masks, Ankeny requiring them, while Indianola just recommending them around concessions and restrooms. Is it the most comfortable thing ever to, to wear a mask into a bathroom? Probably not. But, you know, again, just, just trying to do little things that um, hopefully will, will help in the long run. As schools try to make this work, all with the focus on those actually on the field. But the safety and the experiences of our kids are ultimately what we are striving to, to make a positive uh, impact on every single day. In Ankeny, Matthew Judy, Local 5 News, we are Iowa.